It has been a long time. Welcome back. Hello, Thank you. So happy to see you. So it's been 14 years. That is a long time to take a break and not, I mean, obviously <laughs> you've done some traveling, some music, but first, first album in a long time. Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we have nine kids and we have been raising our children. Um, I know for me, I have the oldest kids. Well, Emily has the second oldest son, but um, I just, when they got to the age for school and to have their own lives and their own friends, I just really wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and make their lives about them and not about me. Um, That's we amazing. wanted her to make her life about us. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you ready now? Yeah. Are you ready now? <laughs> Was that happening, really? Were we, were, actually... we were antsy. We, we didn't want to stay home. I love my kids, but I... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so we were I calling her. I love mine more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daily, you know. Yeah, that is, but that's amazing that you did that. Because a lot of, really? I mean, you had a huge, yes, you have a huge career, and then a lot of people can balance both and want to balance both. Everybody does it differently, but I think that's very admirable that you said, I'm giving this be, up. I mean, I want to be I mean, honest. I think after the whole controversy, and that feels like eons ago, but we were pretty worn out at the same time. And, um, I don't know, I think we needed a break. Maybe not 14 years, but... We, we need to just get mad again. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. have something to write about. Yeah, but haven't you been mad for a while? I mean, I've been <laughs> mad. That's the perception. <laughs> yeah. That's the perception. But I mean, so that is weird. So 17 years ago, right, is when this happened, when you were blacklisted for just speaking out and saying something that, I mean, right? Yeah, we were just told today we didn't we didn't know it, but today is the anniversary. That wow, that's amazing. And and how do you feel about that? Because now it feels like we're in an even worse time where everybody is just just. Imagine what she would say now. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> we are. You want me to say it? You want me to say it? <laughs> but no, but a lot of people we're living in this culture now where you know you say the wrong thing and and you're canceled. We're living this cancel yeah. culture, and that was 17 years ago that that happened. Yeah, I think we were one of the first people to feel that to cancel culture. And I think, you know, what we said back then, or what I said back then, would not even be a thing today because it was right. really mild compared to what people say today. But, um, you know, so on one hand, everyone has this platform where they can say whatever they want to say. But on the other hand, this platform can move really quickly and yeah. Yeah. Ruin people's lives. <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's, it's sad. I think we need to get back to where we all just to celebrate our differences and we all have different opinions and it's okay to have strong opinions. Agreed. As long as you're not hurting somebody else, you can speak your opinion. Yeah. Are you going to run for president? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> seems like a great job. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll consider it if you'll answer this question. What did he do on the boat? <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs>